All right, what's up, guys? This is the survey video in my uh, 2,000 subscribers video. You guys asked a bunch of questions, and I'm here to answer them right now. Uh, before I even start this, warning, my voice is, like, deteriorating. So by the end of this, I'm probably going to sound like Darth Vader's nephew. And for whatever reason, the audio, like, camera to computer audio is, uh, is being really funky. So if something glitches, I apologize. With that said, let's freaking do this. Good question. Um, I go by Andy. No one really calls me Andrew at all in real life. I uh, started this channel for my writing originally, so when I got my books published, it's going to be under Andrew Schrock, and this channel was supposed to be just for my writing. And I decided to do things differently, on and here I am stuck with Andrew Schrock. Freaking go figure. I'm not telling, I'm not telling, yeah. That is a good question, but I'd never make that choice. Nail clippers, yeah. I actually have two kittens. They're brother and sister. This is Dobby and this is Winky. This one hates AK-47s. Alright, I think this is my favorite question asked, so thank you, Matt. And the answer is no. To be gifted to be a good skateboarder. The way I see it, there are two types of skateboarders. There's talented skateboarders and there's stubborn skateboarders. And everyone has seen the talented skateboarders. They just get out of the car and they're landed like everything first try and it's all happy and great. And then there's people like me, stubborn skateboarders, that have days where they just can't land anything. And then to land some tricks, they just have to keep going and going and going and going until they finally land it. So, you know, if, if you don't have the natural talent, if you push yourself hard enough, you're going to get better no matter what. And if you just keep trying bigger things, you're going to land some things you didn't think you were able to. So, if you're not talented, be freaking stubborn. No, I do not personally know Nick Mullins, but um, it's kind of funny because after the incident took place and everyone started hearing a story, um, I was on my MySpace and I saw that I was friends with him and I was like, I didn't add him because I don't really add people on MySpace. So um, I thought about it, you know, that means that he must have added me before everything started happening. Um, maybe he saw my footage online or something. Um, my friend, my photographer friend, has uh, went out with him. He's, he shot him. He has some pictures of him, I think. Um, but he went out shooting with him, so he knows him. I don't. Um, but, you know, I've been supporting him. I've, obviously, I've been keeping up with, uh, with all that's going on. And, as we all should, uh, wish him a speedy recovery on this. Oh my gosh, I'm starting to freaking sound like Darth Vader's nephew now. This sucks. But I'm going to keep going for you guys. I actually have two VXs. Uh, one is filming this right now, and the other one is right here. And if you can get here within five seconds to claim it, it's all yours, bud. Oh, too freaking late. You do. <laughs> I wish I could make a skate video every day. I wish I could just skate every day, actually. Um, but I have a lot of bills every month, and I'm working all the time. And with that and the snow that we keep getting in Cincinnati, I'm lucky if I can skate more than once a week. It's really bad. So uh, maybe if things change, I can make more skate videos. But for right now, I'm doing the best I can, guys. I promise. Oh, jeez. I do a lot for money, actually. Uh, first, I'm a freelance videographer um, here and here. And just because I know you guys are going to ask, this is a Sony HDR FX1000, which I do for my uh, bigger jobs. And then I have two Sony VX2100s, um, which I use for skating and just other crap. Um, and then I work part-time for a tutoring in your home company. Uh, I do like little like errands for them and like uh, I don't want to describe it. Um, and then I serve at Olive Garden too, uh, about five nights a week. So I'm very, very busy with with all that and YouTube, like and skating. I have my hands full at all times, and it's chaotic. And I still am struggling with money. I do this, 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 and I am broke. As weird as I am, a lot of you people probably think I'm on drugs half the time. But um, you couldn't be far from the truth. I've actually never done anything. And when I say anything, I mean anything. I've never been drunk. I've never inhaled anything. I've never done any drug. And, well, maybe that is why I'm weird. 
but no, I don't uh, claim to be straight edge or anything. I just, you know, over the years, I've uh, seen a lot of bad things. I've lost some friends. So I've just chosen not to do those things. And uh, I guess that's it. There's the shocker for you guys. Like, whoa. But it's, it's funny, because if you go to some of my videos, be like, oh, you must have been so stoned, man. It's like, no, I wasn't. I'm just goofy as all heck. Dude. <coughs> All right, it's freaking story time. So sit down. The best day of skating in my life was in L.A. Um, we went straight to Hollywood High School, and I was warming up on the 12 stair. I was doing board slides on it, and about second try, I broke my kingpin. So I had to, we'd walk back to the car, and which was really annoying. I put on like an old truck real fast, and uh, I went back, and I board slid it like right away. And I was like, dude, I want to do a 50/50. I never, uh, I never 50/50 like a, you know, big round hand row before. I'd done like tens at most, but 12 is a little bit bigger, so. I ended up landing at fourth try, which is really good for me. I mean, I'll use my hands, but like, I'd freaking, I didn't care. I was just psyched on it. So then I wanted to try the 16, and at the time I wanted to front board it because I was a lot more comfortable with front boards than backside board sides. But the thing was just like so massive to me that I went with a board side because it was less scary, I guess. I don't know. But I was doing the board side. I broke my board like third try. I landed on it funny. So I had to walk back to the car again, and then I went back after putting the board together, <clears throat> and like eight tries later, I rolled away from it. It was like, while I was trying, it was like horrifying every time. Like the panic hit in my chest. But when I landed it, I was, it was like one of the best feelings I'd ever had in my life. Like it just like, energy like filled me. Like it was crazy. It was nuts. Um, but it didn't stop there. We went over to Beverly Hills High and I nailed a line. Um, like a three flip on the five and then just like a back 50-50 on the nine. But um, it was like, it was I was just started skating rails and it was really big for me back then. I was like, it was just bam, 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 back to back. And it was really fun. So, um, what's cool is that I have footage of all those tricks, and I'm going to show it, I'm going to roll it, watch it. Sorry if I didn't answer your question. I'm going to go through the comments and I'll answer a couple more. But uh, I was going to have a skate video for you later this week, but it's, it is snowing actually right now in Cincinnati. And my friends Alex and Wes bailed on me um, because they're not man enough to drive out in the snow like me. But uh, So that sucks. Um, I'll try to come up with something. It's like maybe a skit or I don't even know. But stay, uh, stay tuned. I'll have something for you. Because this video, I, I wasn't feeling it. I don't know if it was entertaining or not. But, um, I gotta cough. Hold on. <coughs> oh, there's just one more thing. Once again, you guys didn't listen to me. And you asked me over and over again why I wear red shirts. So, I give up. Here it is. And... What are you doing? Sometimes you gotta do what really... Ever since... Got stabbed in the leg, the shark. So there you go. You guys know my freaking darkest secret. Subscribe or die.